Hi, Brad Heller here with The Heller Approach. You know, I've been getting a lot of emails from you guys, which is wonderful that you guys are watching the, the, uh, the YouTube videos and I'm getting great positive responses about how simple acting can be. Just picking an emotion, having an objective, and just going with it. <clears throat> I have also been getting a lot of emails, uh, people who have been writing me on Twitter, uh, phone calls, people asking me, hey, where can I study this technique? Where can I learn these lessons? Well, the fact of the matter is, what's incredible about technology now is with the advent of a webcam, you can study this technique from your own home. It's as simple as turning on your computer, logging on with one of our staff or with myself, and taking a private lesson. People have asked me, you know, uh, can I learn this in a university? Can I learn this in New York? Uh, can I learn this in England? And this is a technique that only can be learned here at the Heller Approach, located in Los Angeles or through Skype. But it is an incredible thing to be able to study this technique at all when you don't even have to come to Los Angeles. I currently have students globally. I have students in England, in Germany, in, in, uh, in Chile, in Spain, in New York, in Ohio, and what an incredible thing in one day to be talking to people, you know, all over the globe, uh, teaching this technique to them. People have asked me, well, why, why am I actually doing these YouTube videos? Well, for, it's, it's actually for a couple of reasons. One of the main reasons I'm doing this is I need people to understand, without you having to spend a penny, that there is something out there for you to keep acting fun. I can't tell you how many times I've been on a set watching other actors prepare for their roles, traumatizing themselves, putting them into this mental nightmare before they shoot their scene. And it's, it's actually quite sad because I'm looking at this person preparing for their role as I'm sitting back having a Coke and relaxing. And as soon as they say action, I'll be ready. I simply pick my emotion, have my objective, and go. How great it is to have a technique that's fun and enjoyable that you can actually learn from your own home. How do we do this? How effective is Skype? Well, let me, leave it, let, me, let me just give you an example. As I said to you, I have students in Spain and England and Germany and all of these different places all over the globe. I also have Skype students who live 20 minute drive from my theater. I have a student currently in Marina del Rey who doesn't want to make a 30 minute drive so he just hops on Skype and he's ready to go. He doesn't have to deal with the traffic. Saves money on gas. He's ready to go. It's that effective. Imagine yourself sitting in front of a window and your home and having another person on the other side of the window and you're talking to that person. That's how effective Skype is. I must tell you that I have been getting phone calls from a number of people, which has been great. People who've been wanting to study Skype. I, I want to take online classes. It can be a costly thing. It can. However, look at it this way. You are going to be studying one-on-one -on -one with some of the finest coaches and staff in the world. And you'll be working one-on-one -on -one with these teachers. You are going to be saving time and money via travel, via gas, the time it takes to come out to Los Angeles. All of these things I want you to think about when you're deciding whether or not you want to study on Skype. As I said, acting is supposed to be fun. And I said to you there were two reasons. One, that I'm passing this on YouTube is because I need people to understand that acting can be a fun thing, and it should be. And the second reason is I need people to understand that I want these tools passed on to you. I'm giving you a technique through these YouTube videos so you will have a foundation. So currently, if you just watch these videos, you will have a foundation of a technique that you can use. If you want to delve into this technique deeper and really master the craft, of course it's going to require training. Of course it's going to require you to get lessons. I mean, acting, as I've said in my videos, is very much like being an athlete the same kind of training or a musician. Acting is an art. However, we got to remember that when we're practicing, we're climbing up the right ladder. What does that mean? Well, you could put in hours and hours and hours of studying acting as I used to do before I learned the technique that I'm teaching now, 
and it did nothing but confuse me, traumatize me. I have to give you an example somebody just told me. Shia LaBeouf, you know who this is from Transformers, was recently interviewed about the new movie that he's doing. And he was telling somebody who was interviewing him that in order to prepare for his role, I guess he had a, a love interest in this, in, this, in this movie, in order to prepare for his role in the movie, he slept with this girl. And then he was upset because you know, you know, it ruined his relationship. Now, think about how insane that is. I mean, can you imagine his girlfriend looking at him and him saying, well, listen, it was just to prepare for the role. I gotta, I gotta get to know my scene partner. And they actually slept together. Now, who knows? I didn't see the interview. Maybe he wanted to break up with her anyway. But the fact of the matter is that for someone to actually you know, it, it, it delve into sleeping with another person to prepare for a role is insanity. The technique is supposed to be fun. I can't reiterate this enough. It, again, reminds me of, of an example I may have talked about before. When you're dealing with children, children acting, how do they evoke emotion? And I may have used this example before, but there was a girl who uh, had an acting teacher. She was about 11. And apparently, she had to get very emotional and cry uh, on cue. And the teacher had said to this little girl, I want you to think about your dog getting injected with a 1,000 needles right now. And this girl not only started crying, but she went hysterical. Her mom had to take her out of the class. She had basically this poor little 11-year-old girl had a nervous breakdown at 11. Doing something which is supposed to be fun. I can't tell you how frustrating it is to hear that story. And I'm not angry at the teacher because the teacher doesn't know any better. This is the problem with acting in today's society, globally I'm talking, is that acting, the techniques that you're going to learn as I learned at what was supposed to be one of the finest universities in the country to teach theater, I learned antiquated techniques and theory, not a practical way to work. I remember one time I, I said to a teacher at this particular place, uh, and I said, hey, what do I do? I don't know how to act. And his response to me was, whatever works for you. And I'm thinking, well, I don't know what works for me. I don't know what to do. I'm not, I, I don't know how to act. And so I was given all these tools, but I didn't really know sort of how to use them, how to put them together. It was like giving somebody a hammer and a screwdriver and a saw, and they don't know how to use these things. And they're saying, build a house. And that's very similar to what I felt. The technique I teach here is very practical for today's, uh, today's industry, which requires you to be able to evoke emotion like that, it requires you to be able to change a thought in a character like that. Remember. If you are lucky enough, and if you are talented enough, you're working hard enough to actually book a job. When you're on the set, it's an incredible experience. Remember, it's supposed to be fun. Now, if I don't have a technique that I can rely on that keeps it enjoyable, for those of you who have not had the fun experience of acting on a set, when you're experiencing this, when you're on a fun, professional set, there's usually about, well, I would not, I would say maybe between 75 and 100 people who are standing around, people doing lights, people dealing with the camera, the sound, people hanging flags, just make, makeup people, hair people. And let's imagine that this little girl I was telling you about was on the set, and the director came up to her and said, I need you to cry. And she had to think of this thing. And then she goes into sort of this, this hysterical nightmare and taken off the set, the person's going to get fired. The poor little girl's going to get fired. And this is true for adults, too. If I'm in a scene, and let's say I'm doing a scene, and my character, I've made a choice that my character's going to be angry. So there I am. I'm ready to go. I act the scene, and the director comes over to me, and he says, hey, Brad, I like what you're doing. Hopefully he does. Uh, but I want you to not play him angry. I want you to play him nervous. Now, before the technique I teach now, I would not have known what to do other than for me, Brad, to think of some personal experience 
to make me nervous. I would start thinking about things that happened to me when I was a kid, uh, things that happened to me maybe five years ago, things that make me really nervous. Now here I am, I'm trying to think of the right thing that's gonna make me nervous, and I have 100 people standing around waiting for me to act. And I found the thing, I found the trigger that's gonna make me nervous, and I'm thinking about it, and it's getting me going, and the director comes over to me and says, hey, wait a minute, listen, you're too nervous. And I don't know what you're doing, but it doesn't really fit the character. So now we're getting into a vein of what many people would call the method. Using personal experiences in my own life of Brad in order to create characters, in order to evoke emotion in a scene. This is a technique I strongly disagree with for many reasons, as you know. It's unnecessary, it's unhealthy, and quite frankly, I don't really believe it's fun. So now, today, the director comes out to me. He says, hey, listen, I need you to not play the character angry. I want you to play him nervous. <sighs> no problem. <sighs> Anxiety, I'm there. It's that fast. It's that fast. The technique I teach is about creating, think about a piano and all of the keys on the piano. And each key is a different emotion. And if the director wants disbelief, I hit that key. I say disbelief, <sighs> disbelief, I breathe a couple of times, think my objective, I'm there. Technique is life-changing. Life-changing. You're not gonna learn it anywhere else. And please understand, I have students who have been studying with me on Skype for years now. I've never even met them in person. That's how effective it is. If you are thinking about moving to Los Angeles, if you are thinking about moving to New York, if you're in Dallas and you're thinking about getting ready to audition for the big stuff, make sure your technique is solid. I can't tell you how many people come out to Los Angeles and they come out and they sign up for classes and the first thing they say to me is, hey, listen, how do I get an agent? And my response to them is, well, do you, do you know how to act yet? No, I don't yet, but I need to know how to get an agent. And what I hear is, you're saying to me you want to audition for the LA Symphony Orchestra and you don't know how to play the violin. I can get my students ready to audition within six months. Six months, you will, be, you will have the foundation of the book, Acting Without Agony, an alternative to the method, you will have the technique in your blood, in your bones, and you will be ready to audition. Now, what do you audition for in the beginning? Well, in the beginning, you gotta audition for the stuff where it's okay for you to fail, to go make a mistake, the safe places. Go audition for commercials, go audition for student films, independent films, all of those things you're gonna do before you enter the big leagues and start auditioning for the big stuff in Dallas, the big stuff in Los Angeles or New York. Take the time to learn the technique before you go out and show everybody. I remember I was doing a movie with this, this young woman who works all the time. She's a very, very successful actress. And she told me she moved to Los Angeles uh, and she was one of these people who just went out and got an agent. And she met a casting director and she was not good. Nine years later, now this girl, keep in mind, has been on television Frequently, nine years later, that casting director will not call that person in. Now, in Los Angeles, fortunately, we have a lot of casting directors, we have lots of agents, we have you know, lots of bridges. But you know, there's only so many. We don't wanna burn bridges. Now, if you're in Dallas, or if you're in Ohio, how many bridges are there? I think I was talking to somebody in Ohio, and I think there's like two, two casting directors or two agents. Now, if you go in there, and you mess up, what are you gonna do? Where are you gonna go? How wonderful it is to be here in Los Angeles where I'm surrounded by such talented, wonderful people, agents and managers who believe in me and believe in what I do. I would say to you that when I am, let me just say, I'm fortunate enough to have some, some very successful agents and managers who will send me their actors, send me their models to teach before they go out and audition. And I would say when I first meet them, 95% of the people I meet could not act themselves out of a bag. 
Now you got a dilemma here because if you're, you know, you have this great agent, this great manager who believes in you, you've got to learn a technique quickly because these agents and managers want to make money. So they send them to me, I get them ready within six months, and they go. Now, if it was up to me, I probably would say, hey, you know, can we spend a little more time and kind of polish this? Agents and managers, understandably, they want to make money and they want to get you out there. But hey, remember, it's your butt out there. You're the one who's going to be auditioning, and you're the one who's going to look like a fool if you blow it. They can just drop you. The agent can just say, hey, you know, listen, I don't, it's not working out. Well, well you, you sent me out, and I didn't even know how to act yet. And now you're going to drop me? Just keep in mind, there's only so many people out there to show your stuff. Skype is, has revolutionized teaching. You are no longer at the mercy to study with your community, community college, local theater drama teacher in the Midwest. Yesterday, this is incredible to me, yesterday I got a phone call from, from a guy in East Africa who wants to study Skype. He was so excited. And I'm thinking, how incredible is this that I can log onto my computer and I'm here with one guy in East Africa from 10 to 11 in the morning, 11 a.m. I'm in England, noon I'm in Germany, and 2 o'clock, I'm with a guy in Ohio. How amazing is that? Keep in mind, you're going to ask yourself, very possibly, how effective can Skype be? I have people who live in Los Angeles who don't want to make a 15, 20-minute drive, and they choose to Skype instead. That's how effective it is. Listen, working with somebody live in person, if you're able to do that, if you're able to come out to Los Angeles, Wonderful, but there are those people who just can't do it for one reason or another, financially, could be just you know, environmental, who knows? So I have these, these YouTube videos for those people who can't get out here. As I said to you before, Skype lessons are not like a group class. It's one-on-one, -on -one, private coaching, an hour between you and a professor. Now, I will get phone calls and people will ask me, well, how much does it cost? You're talking about Los Angeles, which is the epicenter of acting, many, including myself, believe, in the universe. In, on, on Earth, in the universe. There's nowhere, in my opinion, that's going to be more competitive and have more successful actors than in Los Angeles. The people that you will be working with are people who have been working with some of the greatest directors, some of the greatest producers, writers, audition daily, you will be working with these people. One particular professor comes into mind. He's been acting for 30 years. Another one's been acting for 50. And I get somebody who's going to call me up and say, well, how much does it cost? It's not going to be like you studying with your local community college group class. Think about what it should cost to spend an hour with a trained professional actor in Hollywood. And then maybe it will make sense why you're spending this money. My gosh, you know, when you think about what people spend at private universities, even public universities, even junior colleges, what they spend there on four units, it's, it's insane. Now, I do have people who absolutely want to get a college degree. And listen, I support you. If you want to get a college degree, by all means, go for it. But my thought is, learn acting here instead of at a university where I will bet you a million dollars that the techniques that these universities are teaching are dated and antiquated. You can study the technique here with me or one of my teachers on Skype and go to your local university and study marketing, studying business. If you really want to do this, if you really want to act, go study how to market yourself. As an actor, you're creating a company. The company is you, and you have to learn how to market yourself. Now, fortunately, that is a major part of our school, is teaching actors how to get themselves out there, how to market themselves, how to sell themselves, how to get out there and meet the right people, how to book jobs, so forth. However, I do have some parents, I do have some people who absolutely are firm and they need to get that college degree. So for those people, study marketing, study business. I strongly urge you to avoid studying 
the old antiquated dated techniques you're going to find at most colleges and universities. Think about Skype. Think about it as an option. I know that it sounds strange. And listen, for me, I was not a computer guy. I barely even knew how to turn on my computer before I learned all this stuff. But it changed my life. And I know it can change yours if you just keep an open mind. Anyway, it's been great talking to you. Hello to all of my students in all of those crazy faraway countries. Uh, and hello to you. I hope to meet you sometime, or one of my staff can meet you. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do so, or you can follow us at The Heller Approach on Twitter and on Facebook. Until then, keep acting fun.